in the case of our Chibo girls, um, it, it was instantaneous. Mm -hmm. It was coming at a time when we had more citizens in, in our country uh, being um, on, on social media and using it as a means of interaction mm -hmm. and being uh, you understanding the power that it gave or rather it gives to their voice. And so when this happened and that traditional media was not even reporting mm -hmm. the, 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 the tragedy, the, 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 the social media was reporting it, discussing it, and pushing on it. I mean, I was, I, it was the, the, the very next day after they were abducted on the midnight of the 14th of April, the news broke uh, through um, a B BBC mm -hmm. on my timeline. I saw it. And, and then I tweeted and said, I hope this is not true. And from that tweet, I never stopped tweeting. Every day, I dedicated at least 10 tweets mm -hmm. from the 15th of April. In fact, at some point, the hashtag was, where are our 85 girls? Mm -hmm. Because the military sort of suggested that we were only looking for 85 girls. Mm -hmm. It was not until the 23rd of April when I went to a, um, a UNESCO book event uh, in Port Harcourt and I said to the audience, we can't be at a book event and not stand in solidarity with over 200 girls that, that have been missing and, mm -hmm. and there's no word on them. As a former Minister of Education, I know what it took to get girls in the classroom mm -hmm. in the Northeast. And so these ones went to school and they're missing and we're all just going to carry on. So I said, let's all rise and demand that our government, which has not said a word, should just go after these terrorists and rescue the girls. Then we should, I, I, I asked the audience to join me in saying, bring back our daughters, bring back our girls. And one of my followers on Twitter tweeted and said, Antiobi says we should all demand, bring back our girls. And then I retweeted. Uh, him and then to ask everybody to adopt the use of that hashtag, mm -hmm. bring back our girls. And people felt connected mm -hmm. to the story of those girls. It was instant. And the, sometimes I think that just the thought that those girls could be anybody's daughters, they could be anybody's sisters, just stirred something in everyone that picked up on their advocacy.